Understanding the phrase, all for naught, an English learning guide. Hello everyone, today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase, all for naught. This phrase is not only intriguing but also enriches your understanding of the English language. Let's explore its meaning, usage, and origins together. Remember, mastering such expressions can significantly enhance your English proficiency. All for naught is an idiomatic expression in English. It means that all the efforts, work, or actions someone has done are ultimately useless or have no meaningful outcome. The word, not, is an old-fashioned term for, nothing, so the phrase literally translates to, all for nothing. It's used to express disappointment when the results of hard work don't meet expectations. To better understand this phrase, let's see it in action. 1. After months of preparation, the event was cancelled. It was all for naught. 2. She studied all night for the test, but it turned out her efforts were all for naught. These examples show how the phrase is used to describe situations where efforts do not lead to success or any beneficial result. The phrase, all for naught, has its roots in Middle English. Not was a more common word several centuries ago. Over time, the expression has remained in use, especially in literary and formal contexts. It's a great example of how some phrases preserve historical aspects of language. Understanding synonyms can expand your vocabulary. Similar expressions include in vain, futile, for nothing, to no avail, each of these can be used in similar contexts but may carry slight nuances in meaning. I hope this video helps you understand and use the phrase, all for naught, confidently in your conversations and writing. Remember, learning such phrases not only helps in practical communication but also connects you with the rich tapestry of the English language. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.